Right. Hi, everyone. Welcome again to our series of snapshots from the Sea Big Screen project, which is delivered by the partners in the project consortium. So today is the turn of the area of stakeholder engagement. And speaking to us about this is Raya Mikhailova from the Health Psychology Research Centre in Bulgaria, where she is a researcher. Raya, great to have you here. Um, I'm, and let me just start by asking you to describe the area in Sea Big Screen that you're involved in. Thank you for the opportunity to take part. Hi to everyone. So I am actually a cup facilitator. This is a part of the work package two in the Civic Screen project. And what CUB means, this is a collaborative user board. So this is the abbreviation. This is a group of stakeholders. It includes patients, vulnerable women, local, national, and EU level policymakers, and uh, public or semi-public health organizations, who, which are responsible for executing health policies, also health insurers, uh, gynecologist associations. So talking about all stakeholders that are really engaged um, in cervical cancer screening uh, somehow from the three different levels. Uh, we, uh, me, uh, meaning uh, macro level, which are uh, so-called national institutions, meso level that I just mentioned, NGOs, doctors, lab technicians, and also the micro level that involves vulnerable women who are vulnerable, vulnerable regarding cervical cancer screening since they're underrepresented and they don't really have their regular checkups uh, that are necessary, and uh, the stakeholders in each of these so-called CUBs uh, are, will be invited to participate in three workshops in the project and uh, to provide input from their user perspective and also sort of a core researcher perspective regarding uh, what are the barriers to the access of vulnerable women to cervical cancer screening, the possible solutions to the issues, so these workshops are really designed to explicate the interactions between stakeholders, what are existing cervical cancer screening programs, and really to determine how they could be affected or the role they could play in the changes that the project could propose. So these CUPs will be established with representatives from all relevant user groups in Work Package three, uh, 2 in the Civic Screen project and coordinated then compiled in co collaboration with all partners that are, are in the project. So using their wide network of contacts really to organize them and establish them. And uh, maybe to say about my role, I am a CUP facilitator. So I should organize the CUP. Uh, I will select and invite participants, contact the relevant institutions in order to really uh, get them all together. And then um, representatives from these institutions will be asked to participate in these uh, three workshops that I mentioned. Ideally, the same people will take part in all three. And I will plan them, I will facilitate the workshops. Uh, and I will also, together with, of course, with my co-facilitator and Bulgarian team, I'll make sure that data is transcribed, analyzed, shared with all relevant parties in the end. Of course, taking all ethical considerations into account as well. And it's actually seven countries that will conduct the CUB workshops. That's Denmark, Estonia, Romania, Portugal, France, Italy, and Bulgaria too. And each one of them has such a facilitator uh, forming a group which coordinates our work. So I think these are the main parts here. That's great. Thanks so much. A lot of, lot of information there. And um, how do the CUBs relate to the kind of overall project? Uh, they are really important and key to the project uh, since in order to meet the needs of the vulnerable groups in each specific context of the seven countries I mentioned and seek the perspectives of stakeholders, uh, the idea is to get them together in this sort of collaborative user board and to really include them as co-researchers in what we're doing in the project. Um, and this is really the idea to... Um, uh, to have sort of an action research approach and to ensure that their voice is heard and also that participation, the level of participation of vulnerable women really gets higher in this way because they will talk together with uh, macro level stakeholders from national institutions together with um, doctors from the meso level with NGOs. So everyone that is really engaged in the process in each country. And um, the aim is to ensure that the interventions that the CBIC Screen project will really have meet local requirements, are uh, tailor-made to the needs and uh, vulnerabilities of women in each context, 
and uh, generate ideas throughout each and, uh, each and every work package to engage in exchanges with the cubs. So it's not just a cub in, in the second work package, it's really um, connected with each one of them. Yes. That's great. Thanks so much. That's it. Yeah, it's uh, it's really interesting to hear how the kind of they they the effect across the across the project and how it will feed into all aspects of the project. So um, that's brilliant. Thank you so much, Raya, for uh, for taking your time. And we might speak to you again in the future to see how the Cubs are are progressing and and how it's all working out. So thanks so much for your time, and we'll speak to you again. Thank, Thank you, you for speaking to me. Thank you. Thanks.